Hey folks, Alex here. I'm gonna show you how to make a war club out of common uh, plumbing pipe. You can get this at your local uh, home improvement or hardware store. I started off with uh, an 18 inch uh, hollow, as you can see. Three quarter inch pipe. I also got uh, an end cap. That's for the the butt of the the wall hammer that we're making. Then I got uh, an elbow. I actually got two elbows. I'll explain why. This one you can put uh, two end caps here. I'll show pictures when I'm done. And then this one, the only difference is uh, this one has uh, an extra, and there's a reason for that. Okay, here I have assembled uh, the club. It's very difficult to uh, record uh, one hand. Anyways, the reason I kept it at three quarter inch, not one inch, and also uh, 18 inches long. That way it's, you know, it's a little lighter and more maneuverable. Believe me folks, this will do some serious damage. Any student of history will tell you uh, why the common man, more often than not, along with a good sword of course, would improvise a weapon such as this. Now, the reason I got this one with the four also, I plan to add a spike over here. You know, just for you to get an idea. That way you have more reach and, you know, get them zombies without exposing yourself so close. And also, I kept it uh, hollow. There's a lot of storage room in there. As you can see, it's very easy uh, to make. And I'm gonna show uh, a couple of pictures when I'm finished. You know, I, I like to share uh, some of the projects and stuff that I do, and uh, some of you have shown interest and uh, have asked me, uh, will I, you know, sell some of the stuff I make? And the answer is, of course I do. <laughs> That's part of my business. But I don't mind uh, people making their own stuff, and you know, if I could help in any way, all you gotta do is ask me, and more than happy to. And again, like I said, you know, some of you prefer uh, that I make it for you. By all means, contact me. As you can see, uh, he don't give it. Well, he don't care. Let's just put it that way. He's snoring away. Ah, what a good life. Okay, I polished all the paint off and I cleaned it with some acetone. It's a lot cleaner look and, uh, and it has an industrial look and feel to it. I think it looks better, don't you? That's the original. I'm gonna give it a little bit of paint here and there. I'm just gonna coat this with a uh, clear lacquer to protect it from, uh, well, to hold back some of the uh, the rust. I'm gonna tap and drill a hole here. I think it looks better, don't you?
And here we have the final product. I'm going to do a better job of wrapping it than this. I just wanted to figure out how many feet of paracord I could get into it. And uh, I got about 32 feet, more or less. This just to give you an idea, you know. Still gotta drill the tap and drill the hole so I can put like a little hook. That way you can uh, tie a loop or. And look at all the storage you have in there. You could probably double all the contents inside a survival tin. You could probably fit them in here, no problem. So there you have it, folks. Badass Warhammer that you can also use as a survival tool and a few other things for that zombie apocalypse. So uh, this is uh, Alex. Out of sight, not out of mind. Take care.